Hey guys, I had a little bit extra time on my hands today. Just took a shower, as you see. I'm going to make some uh, tomatillo sauce. I'll show you how. Okay, it's a rainy day out here in Arizona. See, I still got some of these tomatillos sticking around. I'm going to pull some of them and make some uh, green sauce with them. It's going to come out great. Let me show you how. It's nice to have cilantro growing like this. See, it's starting to bolt, but it's still, it's beautiful. I got plenty in here I can just use anytime I need. Along with some dill, some mustards and stuff like that. Beautiful day out. I could put these old jalapenos to use too. I'll put them in with the sauce. First things first. I picked these tomatillos uh, around from outside, the extras, and I'm starting to peel them now. After I peel them, I'm going to have to wash them down a little bit because they're a little bit slimy. They're kind of nice, though. They're really sweet. Very ripe. With the time the tea was cleaned up, I went outside and picked some um, cilantro and some homegrown peppers. There's all different kinds. There's bells, there's uh, jalapeno and pino and there's a couple of cayenne peppers in there. Throw them in there. Some store-bought onions and uh, garlic. Uh, cut that up, clean it up, and then throw it in a pot. Okay, so I chopped up the onions, the peppers, and the garlic, and put it in this uh, pan about, I guess it's about an inch deep. To that, I'm going to add a cup of vinegar. Make this stuff last a while. And then some water, just to cover it enough. Just to cover it for now. And I'm going to put it on and um, bring this to a, a simmer. Boil and simmer it. And I'm going to get this all softened down before I even put the tomatillos in this. Right, well, I got these, these are uh, starting to boil and steam down. Now I'm going to just put some of the tomatillos in there. These tomatillos cook really quickly. They just need to really be good and soft. The softer they are, the, the uh, better they go in the, the food processor. They come out like really nice, so it won't take long. So some of these are starting to get done. Yeah, you could tell. You see how how soft that is right there? It's just about mush. That's perfect for where you. Oh, a little steamy. That's perfect where we want it. To, if you want to make it even a salsa, you just chop that up a little bit and. I know, the green salsa comes out fantastic. Yeah, I will take them out a little at a time and just keep working them until they're all soft. For as many as I can here, blend them with this uh, Cuisinart. And um, as I'm doing it, I'll throw some cilantro in there. So uh, get it all ready and then get it back in here as much as I can, boil it down as much as I can because what I want to do is, is uh, make a, a green salsa, but I want to take these, see, tortillas have a lot of seeds in them, and um, if I can get some of the seeds out, that's great. So what I plan on doing is putting it through a strainer afterwards, after I get it cooked down as much as possible, and uh, just get that beautiful flavor with the onions and the peppers, and it's going to be hot and sweet, and then I'll add a little salt and pepper, in, and it's going to be delicious. See when I got a little bit more done. Well, this batch came out a little browner than the other ones, but that's because I put so many peppers in there. Man, it's hot. After this is the strainer. See, I strain it through this because I wanted it to be a sauce. And I'll put it into that pot. And then I'm going to put it in um, a mason jar or something. We'll see. This is what the leftover residual stuff is. I'm going to throw that in the compost. It'll be fine. Maybe even get a pepper to grow out of that, who knows. But, so that's the secret to the, the hot sauce. And boy, it's hot and it's delicious. Sweet and hot. Tomatillo sauce. Remember, if you want it greener, I suppose you just wouldn't put so many peppers in there. I don't know, but I like this one. It's, it's really nice and hot. I'll work it down and put it away. Heat it up and put it in a mason jar. And then it should last me a couple of weeks. Ah, that's it. Well, got a few jars out of it. Nice to have some hot sauce around. 
is kind of brown looking for tomatillo sauce, but it's sweet and it's hot. Mm -hmm. Those are sealed for. Those are sealed pretty good. They're going to be good for a few weeks, months, whatever. I drink it pretty quick. <laughs> Thanks for watching.